is the United Kingdom coming undone. It felt a bit like it today in a showdown between the British government and Greater Manchester. The mayor, Andy Burnham, accusing Westminster of forcing the city's boroughs into a stricter lockdown against their will and without enough help to get people through it. I don't believe we can proceed as a country on this basis through the pandemic by grinding communities down through punishing financial negotiations. Mancunians have been in limbo for days now as the two sides tried to agree on a price tag for lost livelihoods. I can understand where Andy Burnham's coming from because of all the local businesses around here which are suffering at the moment. We sort of knew it was coming, so it was, could be bad news for the business and a struggle, but it's good news to finally get some information, to finally know. But in the end, there was no deal and it's exacerbated the north-south divide. Critics accusing the British Prime Minister of failing in his election promise to level up the north. Tonight, Boris Johnson said the rise of COVID cases in the north left him no alternative and that there could be no special deals. What we couldn't do, uh, I hope people understand, was do a deal with Greater Manchester that really would have been uh, out of kilter with the, uh, the agreements we'd already reached with, with Merseyside and, and with Lancashire. But this was a bitter fight, and with such different messaging from national, regional and local authorities, getting people to follow the rules, if they can figure them out, might be difficult. Yesterday, Wales went its own way, imposing its own full-on lockdown for the next two weeks. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.